Have you ever been afraid of anything? What keeps you from living the life of your dreams? What is keeping you from meeting the love of your life? What is keeping you from having your dream relationships? What is keeping you from making your first million dollars? If we don't give it a name, we cannot bust that myth of our fear. Now that you know, you can't unknow it. You can deal with something that you don't name and that you don't acknowledge. I believe that we can choose to live in fear and be crippled by it and live a small life. Or we can conquer fear and be bold and courageous. The three biggest steps that I took to live the life I have now. The first step is creating your vision. In the past, I was stuck with my fears and anything that you fear is based on your past experiences. The second step I did is design my environment. I was very blessed to start my first business from my garage and then grow my business by joining organizations and getting into a different environment, having friends that are business owners all around the world. We learn from each other, how do they run their business, how I run my business, and that has helped me to grow tremendously. I've learned how to work less, work smarter, and I've learned how to fill up that time doing things that I love. And the last step, is celebrating the small wins. It's very, very important to celebrate. Even though you don't feel successful, you are being successful. So you have to be very mindful of that because no matter what level of success, there's always another level of success. So if we don't celebrate the small wins, we will never experience that we're winning. We started this conversation with the idea that fears are your roadblocks to the life of your dreams. Today, I still follow those three steps consistently. My vision today is to empower men and women around the world to unlock their dream life through manifesting miracles. And miracles are available to you and to everyone if you just turn on the light to the miracles. Simply commit to showing up doing the work and leaning into what is possible. Today, I'm also very intentional about who I surround myself with. I design my environment on a daily basis and I work with coaches and I mastermind with other entrepreneurs. I'm very intentional about the energy that I allow around me and I still celebrate every win. I celebrate this moment with you to share my story and my work because I believe I'm just a messenger for the life that you can have. And whether you heard my whole talk or just one word, I celebrate whatever your journey is and whatever is possible for you. Anything that she says really comes from the heart. Both my parents spent decades in jail. I raised my brothers and I didn't even finish high school. I enjoyed Hazel so much because she was so authentic. Once I lose that myth of my soft story, that changed everything. Your mindset will dictate how the world occurs to you. Hearing her today, everything she said just hit home. I started dreaming really big.